Hi, I'm Mateo and today we got a brand new update in Pet Simulator 99 that brought us a bunch of cool things like a brand new world, mini game, mastery capes and more. We also got two completely new masteries that we just have to go over that could help you out a ton so I'll be going in depth on those. So it looks like we have a lot to cover and I also have a few other tricks that should help you to take full advantage of this week's update. And remember if you want to win a side huge from me. All you have to do is join my discord and enter in for daily huge giveaways. It is absolutely free and my way of giving back to the community. And if you do learn something new from today's video, consider giving it a like and subscribing for more. Only about 20% of you are subscribed and your subscription would go a long way. So thank you so much for that. Now let's get straight into today's update. All right, you guys. So obviously number one on this list is going to be this brand new Olympus world that we got in today's update. As you can see, I fly around and look at all of the amazing new areas we got. Every one of them is this flash banging Olympus theme. If you run out of juice from flying and fall all the way down, you just fall over here in the water. So you don't actually die like other worlds. But if we go up to the new best area, once again, we can look over here and see what the new huge is. So the new huge huge for this world is the huge Gordon right here. Absolutely a very cool huge. I can't wait to get one. I will be opening this egg for the rest of the week. And the other major thing about this world is this new flying mechanic that you've probably seen. Honestly, the flying mechanic is pretty underwhelming. It doesn't feel very like fluid or anything, but overall it is still a pretty cool feature of this world and definitely adds to that Olympus aesthetic. And if you want to upgrade your flying abilities, you just have to come back to this first area area and after grinding for a while you're gonna get these wing essence coins that you can use to upgrade various aspects of your flying capabilities these upgrades get quite expensive so you are gonna have to grind a little bit if you do want to max them out but if we head up to the second to last area in the olympus world we actually have the brand new mini game called the wood cutting mini game now big games put a lot of emphasis on this mini game in this week's dev blog so when they did that i thought they put a a lot of time into this and it would be like a very cool activity to do but i gotta say it is pretty underwhelming this is pretty much all it is it's pretty much just like the digging mastery except with trees and overall the digging mastery is just a lot cooler because you're like going through and trying to find the chests and stuff but with these trees there's nothing really that cool now in order to farm these like higher level trees you're gonna need a higher level axe okay i guess i can farm this one actually but other trees like this one for example i can't chop because i don't have a strong enough axe so if i come over here with all the coins that i get you could buy up to four different axes now in order to do these quests i'm gonna need the advanced log from this axe merchant so this one right here and then you're gonna have to do all of these quests in order to just get one of these wooden gift bags so that is pretty insane to me it definitely doesn't seem worth it right now but maybe they'll change it so we'll see as we go now if you notice on my back here i actually have one of the brand new mastery capes so this right here is obviously the fruit mastery cape and you get these by actually completing level 99 of any of the masteries currently available so if you head over into your inventory you can actually equip these by just clicking on them okay so they're right here above the bottom part of your inventory in the item section Currently, I only have six of the masteries currently maxed out, so I have all of these capes that I can wear. Honestly, a pretty cool feature and something you can show off when you are in the trading plaza or just walking around in the regular world. You can also use these to match like whatever kind of outfits you got going on. So I think it's a pretty cool feature from big games. And then moving on, we also got two brand new masteries in this week's update. And the first of those masteries is actually the fuse mastery. So as many of you guys probably know, fusing in Pet Simulator 99 is pretty much completely useless and nobody does it so i'm not too sure why they added a mastery now i'll have to grind out this mastery a little bit and test out some of these new features to tell you if it really is that good the only two features that i see from this fuse mastery that seem like they would be really good are the fact that when you fuse all the pets are always going to be random now this is at level 95 of the mastery and then at level 99 the minimum that you need to to fuse is 
is also two instead of three. So that's also a pretty big change. If we go ahead and pull out our supercomputer here, we could see how much fuse mastery we get just from fusing a few pets here. So from fusing just one pet, we reached level two in the fuse mastery. All right, so after going ahead and fusing a few more things, it doesn't seem like it would take too, too long, I guess, to get this fuse mastery up. But the only issue is that you can only fuse one pet at a time so this actually takes quite a bit of overall time but just already from fusing i already got a couple pets that are stronger than the last pet i had so fusing honestly might be better than i last remembered i haven't done it in a while because of how useless the mechanic has been but as you can see just after probably 10 different fuses that we did we reached level 10 so i have to get back to you guys if fusing is a worth a mechanic after this new uh mastery but overall i don't think too much has changed from them adding that to the game now over here in the millionaire world in section 217 this is where we have the boost exchange machine now the boost exchange is actually the second new mastery that we got so if i open it up here you could see we get boosts such as boost costs are now reduced by five percent boosts are now five percent more effective boosts now last longer and then the actual really good part about this new mastery is the fact that it will automatically buy each of these boosts for you so at level 70 it automatically buys the diamond boost at level 80 it automatically buys the drops boost and then at level 90 it automatically buys the egg luck boost so if you don't know how this machine works is that when you're grinding in this area you get something called these millionaire bucks now these millionaire bucks can be used to buy these boosts for a specific amount of time so for example if i spend 1440 millionaire bucks this is going to give me a five percent diamond boost for the next 24 hours so let me go ahead and actually do that really quick and then we could basically do that for each of these other boosts so you can get a hundred percent egg luck boost as well as a 15 percent drop chance boost so this is also very good as well now i'm not too sure if this mastery is actually currently bugged right now because if we go to mastery you could see that i have zero xp still after using all of these boosts and maxing them out so let me know down in the comment section if you guys are able to get any xp from this but it seems to not be working for me for now either way i definitely suggest getting this all the way leveled up so that you can max out these boosts constantly when grinding and in the game because they most definitely will be very useful so look out for that when it starts working again now finally the last thing i think that is a major part of this week's update is the inclusion of the brand new exclusive egg the cartoon egg now another thing you'll see here is that this titanic yeehaw cat now i believe this is from the brand new force field forever pack so yeah crazy enough there is already 24 of these titanics in existence so once again people are buying the heck out of this forever pack for some reason but then for the exclusive egg we actually have this very cool cartoon egg now obviously i don't recommend paying robux for it or paying for robux for anything in this game but i gotta say if you were to open any exclusive egg these eggs are super cool just look at all of the art for these different pets we have the cartoon bunny over here at 50 percent we have the cartoon corgi here at 35 percent the cartoon demon at 13 and then for the huges we have the cartoon demon and bunny as the two versions and then finally we have the giant titanic cartoon cat this thing is absolutely sick let me see if i can actually find the little display where you can see the cartoon cat sitting out so yeah over here in the world 3 hub you can see the titanic sitting over here honestly i just think this is a pretty cool art style and i can't wait to open these exclusive eggs as you guys know since i'm partner i do have 200 of these four absolutely free so if you guys want to see me open them for a video let me know down in the comment section below and i'll have that out to you guys tomorrow either way that is pretty much it for this week's update let me know down in the comment section what you guys think all things considered there really wasn't all that much packed into this week's update but it was overall still a decent one if you have any ideas for videos leave that down in the comment section below as well and i hope to see you in the next one thank you guys so much for watching and peace out